Well, I don't believe it. Augustine, what are you doing all the way out here? Why, I'm heeding the call of grand adventure. Actually, Cora asked me to show her the way to some old meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow. Right, that's it. Did she see why she wanted to come here? Nope. Just asked me to show her the way. As soon as she wandered into the meadow, this crazy magic barrier showed up. It looks like we're not getting up these mountains, then. She may not look it, but she's a speedy little bugger. Right. Well, we'd better go look for her. This meadow isn't safe. Augustine, if you're not going to go back to Aurora, you'd better wait here. Way ahead of you, mate. I wait around better than anyone. Good luck out there. far together and you're surprised? But it has evil knife hands! Evil knife hands!
again. Well, that's impossible, my dear. I'm not here to sightsee. I have a task to complete, and I will not be leaving until it is done. You really shouldn't be wandering around here. Please, find those items.
right, Cora. I found your four keepsakes. Oh, this painting and the ring. My goodness. I'm sorry, Dust. You see, these were my husband's. Many long years ago, this was my home. When my husband died, the estate fell into disrepair. All the servants abandoned us in a single night. My husband, you see, was not the most pleasant of people to be around. And then, of course, there was the source of his money. What did he do? He was something of a war profiteer. He would give the King's General information about Moonblood sympathizers and receive money in return. Our friends, our family. Nobody was safe from his treachery. Let me guess, that general's name was Gaius. Why, yes! How did you know? Just a pattern I've been noticing is all. So wait, you're saying that demon we've been seeing is... My husband, Cain. His rage has consumed him, and now he is trapped in this place, consuming the souls of wayward travelers to become ever more powerful. With my own life drawing to a close, I knew it was time to put things right. But I fear had you not come along, I would not have been able to find these items and free him. Betrayed my friends, turned them over to General Gaius for money. It's okay, my love. I know. I know everything. That is why I left you. But I have come to help you set things right once again. I am so sorry, Cor. I'm here now, my love, and I will never leave you again. And you, Robe One, you. Actually, you can repay that debt right now. You worked with General Gaius, and I aimed to drive him from these lands. I was told you may know something that could help me find him. Well, that's easy. Simply go where there are Moonbloods. Their last remaining encampment is hidden far to the north. Do you know where this hidden camp is? Nobody does except for the Moonbloods and... But no, that's impossible. What? What? There was a village of Moonblood sympathizers in the mountains. Ginger? You're talking about Ginger? I'm afraid that's all I know. If you can find this Ginger, perhaps you will find your Moonbloods. Then we'd better hurry, Dust. Ginger's already got a head start on us. But what about the barrier? The work of the demon that imprisoned me, no doubt. Twin souls? You did not know. You possess a rare gift. Two souls joined as one. Never have I seen it before. That we did. Hopefully the two of them finally find some semblance of peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.